Hi guys and welcome to Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung, all things tech and all things gaming and everything in between. So if you're interested in any or all of that, then don't forget to subscribe. It's down there. Today we're going to look at Dolby Vision and HDR 10 and what the difference is and what that means to you. Dolby Vision is sort of the new kid on the block. Um, it's being adopted um, by uh, the second largest TV manufacturer, uh, LG, in their latest range of TVs. Um, HDR10 is the most adopted form of HDR, high dynamic range, in the majority of TVs. But Dolby claim that their uh, Dolby Vision will be adopted by more TVs over the next few years or so. But what does it mean to you? What is the difference between Dolby Vision and HDR10? Well, the secret really lies in the metadata. If we look um, at HDR10, for example, the metadata that's being sent to your device for it to interpret and sort of adjust the HDR element is on HDR10 just a one size fits all for that movie or program or whatever it is you're watching. By that I mean that it's taking the overall content of a movie, for example, so it's going from start to finish, and then throughout that entire range of what you see during that movie, it's just a one single setting for HDR. And that is what is sent to your device. And that's what it reads. So you may have moments where there's intense brightness and huge darkness, but as far as the device, TV, AVR, or whatever is concerned, it will still just apply that one setting overall to that image. What Dolby Vision does is it's more of a dynamic uh, scene by scene approach. So rather than just having one standard setting for everything, it has a setting embedded in the metadata that's dynamically sent to your device as you're watching your movie. So for example, when you're having a bright scene, there's a sun or whatever, Dolby Vision then adjusts the HDR relating to the image that you're seeing right now. When there's a darker scene, then of course, then Dolby Vision applies a different setting, HDR setting, to that image at that moment. Whereas HDR10 wouldn't. It would just simply apply the same setting that it, that it read in the metadata at the very beginning of the movie. Now this is where it starts to get interesting because there are not only we, do we have HDR10, not only do we have Dolby Vision, um, but there are also other formats coming out. There's HLG, which is Hybrid Log Gamma, which is mostly used for broadcast TV. It's being uh, adopted a lot more by BBC um, and, and will be sort of rolled out with their programming over the next few years and on their iPlayer. Um, and it's mostly for broadcast TV. Um, both HDR10 and Dolby Vision is uh, currently being supported by Amazon and Netflix, so it doesn't really matter which one you have. But what is interesting is that if you have a Dolby Vision TV, it's already HDR10 compatible. However, if you have a HDR10 TV, it can't then be Dolby Vision compatible. Now, I'm not too sure why that is, because Dolby Vision isn't a chip, you know, a hardware-based um, form of support. You don't need a, a, an actual chip installed in your TV for it to, to, to run. A good example of which is the a, a Denon AVR X, uh, uh, X2300W, which is last year's models, and they've, they've just reached a an X2400H that has Dolby Vision and HLG and what have you, but it's just a, a firmware upgrade available very soon for the 
the the older version so you know it kind of makes the the old the newer one a bit a bit redundant in a lot of respects um so it, it makes you wonder then why you know what is going to happen with a lot of these tvs that have been coming out over the last couple of years or so that have hdr 10 and also um i hasten to add you need a 10-bit panel on your tv to use hdr 10. Um, a lot of older tvs that are like two or more years old um, two to three years old and beyond will not have a 10-bit panel. I think it's either 8-bit. Um, I could be wrong. I can't remember off the top of my head. So you need a 10-bit panel to, put to, to, to use HDR 10 or Dolby Vision. But you can't, at the moment, use, if you have HDR 10, upgrade your firmware for whatever reason to Dolby Vision. I'm not too sure why that is. I don't know whether that's a limitation that Dolby Vision are applying so people adopt it more. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do with that. <clears throat> but what is interesting is it doesn't end there, is that those of us that own the KS series of TVs that came out last year from Samsung, is, uh, you know, I was looking around and trying to research on whether, you know, we're going to get some kind of firmware update. And apparently H uh, Samsung have developed what they call HDR10+, Plus, which goes another step further than what Dolby Vision apparently does. Dolby Vision works on a scene-by-scene -scene basis, whereas Dolby uh, HDR10+, Plus works on a frame by frame basis. So there's even more metadata that's being sent as an as a frame by frame moment. Currently only there um, with Samsung, it's their new range of TVs that already have this feature. But the good news, the good news is, is that those of us that have the KS series from last year will also get that as a firmware upgrade. Now, I don't know whether that's with the current firmware we're getting that, but it said sometime in the middle of this year. So we're in the middle of this year right now, so I imagine anytime soon. So that is the difference between Dolby Vision, HDR10, HLG, HDR10+. Plus. Um, Technicolor also have their own HDR version coming out, so there's a whole HDR gamut coming out. The good news is that as far as I know, the majority, if not all of them, are software based. So you don't need an actual chip inside your device to, to use it, to benefit from it. You have to have the technology in your screen or in your AVR or whatever it is that it's streaming from and to. That's what you need. Um, you do need a 10-bit panel to benefit from HDR10. Um, but yeah, so I instead, I won't go into the actual sort of the technical aspects of what Dolby Vision is because it really doesn't mean anything to you or I overall. Um, that Dolby Vision is saying that it can go up to 10,000 nits. The KS series of TVs last year could go up to 1,000 nits. Um, so, you know, the, the current newer versions are 1,500 nits. At the very most, I think an LED panel can go up to 4,000. So, you know, it's a little bit redundant, all these sort of figures that Dolby are throwing around. So what does that mean to you or I? Well, just better, better visuals. Um, but, you know, reading a lot of reports as, to, as opposed to what, you know, sort of Dolby Vision and HDR, well, the difference is to us as we're watching it, it's there's a lot of people are saying they can't really tell a lot of difference um but maybe that will change over time maybe we'll see a difference with hdr 10 plus when the ks series adopt it and those that have the newer version of the samsung screens um you know we'll see that more perhaps perhaps but the good news is is that you know there's a lot of hdr formats out there and the majority seem to be being adopted by most most um, 
producers of content. So Netflix, Amazon, and a lot of the film studios as well are adopting those formats too, not just sticking to one, they're, they're, they're applying it to all. And I think that's because it's a software-based um, uh, well, software uh, method. So there we are. Um, it's 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 going to probably get even more confusing over time um but you know we'll try and keep track of it and we'll try and see you know where all this leads us and whether we benefit or not what do you think of hdr you know do you, are you pleased with what you're seeing on your tv right now with hdr have you seen dolby vision do you have an lg tv with dolby vision and do you feel that you're getting the benefit from that as opposed to maybe if you had a TV that showed HDR10 prior to that? You know, let me know your thoughts. Uh, but once again, it's a whole different kind of format war that's coming out in terms of HDR. But overall, the most of us probably won't notice much different. It's just one of those things. So... Yeah, I'll be doing some more videos very soon. In fact, I'm doing a video today about my giveaway. So please look out for that. It's very exciting. I hope you join in on me on that and um, look out for that next. OK, thanks again, guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.